now we know that how we can get the params and get the value from the parameter but having only the invoice number inside your application is not a good idea instead you have to print all the information of your invoices in the application when you have your invoice id so let me show you how you can get the information of your invoice from the data.json file as you know you have your invoice number inside your url using this invoice number you can get all the information of this invoice so to get the information of your invoice using the invoice number you can create a function inside your data.json file here you can say export function get invoice and here i can call invoices dot find method as you know inside this invoices variable i have an array of object so i'm going to filter that array of object using find method so inside this find method we are going to pass invoices the parameter so i'm going to call here just invoice and then call here the callback function and using this function we are going to find and return the invoice so what we need to do is we need to first get the invoice number so using this get invoice i'm going to pass here a parameter called number so when we call the function get invoice i'm going to pass this url value just after that right inside this callback here i'm going to say if the invoice dot number so i'm going to call this parameter invoice dot number if it is equal to number you can see i'm strictly check the equality of the number so if we have the same number in both these variables then return that object now this find method is going to iterate over all the objects and find this number if it finds that number inside an object it's going to return that object so let me just get that object so instead of getting that object inside a variable i'm just going to say here return so i'm just going to return that object from this get invoice function something like this that's it let me save these changes back to the bills right here as you know inside these invoices we have the current invoice number so whenever you click on the links you will have the invoice number now let me just use this invoice id and find the invoice number and display them inside this application so let me get rid of this h1 heading tag right from here and here i'm going to return main with some telvin classes so i'm going to specify here class name flex column and then i'm going to specify padding by five so this will add top and bottom padding add border and margin by four so this will add top and bottom margin then i'm going to add width which is one by three so this is going to add 33.33 percent .33 width to this main section and then add mx auto so this is going to center all the content just start that inside this main here i'm going to add h2 and add total due so what we need to do is we need to first get the invoice object from this function from this get invoice so to get that back to the bills right up here you have to say import in the object you call get invoice from just for that right down here as you know you have this get invoice so call this function and inside this function you need to specify a number to find your invoice so as you know you have your number inside this params so we call here params dot invoice id this variable this one just for that this function is going to return the invoice so let me get that so i'm going to say here let invoice is equal to so once we have the invoice inside this variable i can display all the information of the invoice inside this application i can simply specify here curly braces and say invoice dot amount this is going to print the amount then i'm going to add here a paragraph inside the curly braces i'm going to say invoice dot name call here colon and then specify here invoice dot number and just after that i'm going to add here a paragraph and then specify here due date in the curly braces i'm going to specify invoice dot due so i'm going to print here due date and here i'm going to print the due amount and inside this paragraph i'm going to print the invoice name and its number let me save the changes and show you the result you can see i'm going to get an error message cannot read property of undefined which is amount if you're back to the data.json then you will notice we have the amount property to all my invoices 
But the problem here is, if you open the get invoice, then you can notice I use here strict equality to check the number. So when you pass number to the get invoice, make sure the invoice number is a type of number. So what we have to do is we have to convert this into integer. So we cut this statement right from here and say parse int. And inside this function, I'm simply going to specify params dot invoice id. Let me save the changes. You can see I don't have any errors here. And now you can see I'm going to have my invoice detail. That's super easy, right? So I'm going to have all the invoice detail inside this invoice. And now let's suppose that you want to remove these links right from this URL. And you want to print and open this URL in the new tab. For that, you have to just specify here to so this link component, you have to specify target is equal to in the double quote you specify blank so this is going to open this link inside a new tab let me save the changes and whenever i click on these links you can see it's going to open a new tab and i'm going to have my invoice inside that tab but what i want i want to remove these links from this new tab so to remove this link from this new tabs we have to back to the index.js and instead of this child bills i can grab this child bills right from here and put that after this invoices something like this and instead of this colon invoice id we pass here forward slash invoices and then specify forward slash again so this route is refers to the invoices let me save the changes you can see now i'm going to have my invoice on the new tab let me close this tab back to my previous tab when i click on these links it will open a new tab and i'm going to have my invoice you can see that's super easy, right?